In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the feedback that you leave for your buyers. The reason why this is important is only one out of ten buyers is going to leave you feedback on their own. So if you leave them a positive feedback, they're more inclined to leave you one. So I'm going to show you how to automate this as if you do 10 sales a day, anywhere up to, or I've had days of over 500 sales around Christmas time, it is impossible to leave feedback for all your buyers all by yourself. It would take you forever. Even with 10, it would take you like 30 seconds each. You're speak, talking like five minutes a day. So the only way I've found to find this automate preferences tab is actually clicking on listings in my seller hub and this will only work if you have an eBay store not the basic store I don't believe I think you have to have one of the um, either the middle store or the anchor store and have the selling manager pro um, app attached to it which is an eBay app which I highly recommend so at any rate I clicked on listings and it brought me to my listing page and for some reason my automation preferences are right here so we'll click on those and it brings us to our manage automation preferences page so on this page what you could do is you can automate your feedback for your buyers it allows you to change the emails eBay sends for you I don't change these at all the reason being is eBay has a nice little um, template and a very clean message that they send to a buyer when they order something uh, they send payment reminders they update them for when you ship the item they update them for when you upload your tracking and delivery so there's really no reason to change that I don't send any automated emails and I don't have a listing automation schedule which allows you to suspend your items from being listed and relisted I don't use any of that the only thing we're concerned about is positive feedback for our buyers. So I have this checked so that um, we leave the positive feedback automatically. And in the following situations, it gives you two options. I like to use when the buyer has paid for the item as opposed to the buyer has paid for the item and left me positive feedback. Reason being, like I said, one out of 10 buyers will leave you positive feedback. Um, so if you do that, you're going to miss out on the potential to entice other buyers to leave you positive feedback by leaving feedback for them. So I have this um, setting currently on. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit edit stored comments. And there's 10 comments that you could fill out. I only use five. These work on a rotation basis. So every fifth customer, um, it's just going to row through and they're going to get a different feedback sent to them. This way it doesn't look so automated. So what I have here is great communication, a pleasure to do business with, good buyer, prompt payment, valued customer, highly recommended. Thank you for an easy, pleasant transaction, excellent buyer, A plus across the board, quick response and fast payment, perfect, thanks. Hope to deal with you again, thank you. You can use those exact five if you want, um, they seem to work fine. I don't have any problems. So I'll go ahead and save those comments. And then all we have to do once we save the comments is just click apply. And from that period forward, every order, as soon as they are paid, the buyer will receive one of those feedbacks from you. And hopefully they will leave you a feedback back so we can grow your feedback number and get you more traffic. But that's all there is on automating feedback.